Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you the latest update at the U.S. Embassy in Manila. It is easier than ever to contact the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. Go to U.S. Visas and then you have to scroll down. Go to Contact Us under General Inquiries. It will take you to the ustraveldocs.com website. They have now improved the customer service for visa applicants. So I'm going to show you how to use this feature so you can contact the U.S. Embassy in Manila. Okay, you can use the live chat, but you must enter your full name and email address so i'm going to show you how to do this just click on live chat it will ask you for your full name and email address once you've entered the information it will direct you to the chat feature you can send your message either in tagalog or english you can type the message here and on the right side you can click on the icon on the right side or you can attach a document another way of contacting them or by checking the visa application status is by entering your passport number you can track the passport which is ready for pickup or any other status for your passport okay if you scroll down there is also an option to send an email regarding the passport status so make sure that you follow this instruction you must use the email address and enter a valid passport so do not include any other text in the body of the email including signatures you must provide your first name last name passport date of birth and email address another way to get information is to click to talk so this will allow you to reach a customer service representative via email another important update is regarding non-immigrant visa priorities the U.S. Embassy prioritizes travelers with urgent travel needs and certain critical categories of travelers such as students and exchange visitors, F1, M1, and J1, and temporary employees, H1B, H2B, and L non-immigrant visas. Also in the priority category are renewals of business or tourism B1, B2 visas for applicants eligible to have their interview waived offering biometrics only appointments for applicants who receive their last visa prior to age 14 and interviewing a limited number of B1, B2 applicants each day. So these are the priorities. For all of you who have a pending interview coming up, you need to show up during your interview and follow all the instructions. For all of you who are waiting for their petitions to be approved, or if you are waiting for your interview either for any categories of immigrant or non-immigrant visas, please follow all the instructions if you receive a notice from the NVC or National Visa Center or the U.S. Embassy. The U.S. is really strict when it comes to following instructions. So if you fail to follow the instructions, your processing will be delayed or it could be denied i hope that you will tune in until the end of this video so let's get started there are so many things that we are going to discuss today but first i'm going to provide the latest update regarding the k-1 visa processing and then we are going to move on to the immigrant visa and also other non-immigrant visa and last will be the tourist visa or B1, B2 visa. So I'm going to provide all this information. Regarding inquiries, they are now processing inquiries dated June 2nd, 2022. 
and all correspondence is processed in the order that they are received. Also, they are doing routine visa services, although interview appointments for some visa classes remain limited. Here are the visa wait times for non-immigrant visa. Visitor visa, 360 calendar days, student, 25 calendar days, and all other visas, 34 calendar days. For K-1 visa, so these are petition I-29F for those who have a fiancé in the Philippines. Here is the latest update. For petition I-129F fiancé, most K visa cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in April of 2022. Let's move on to the immigrant visa or IR petitions. For immigrant visa processing, the embassy is processing immigrant visas across all categories. However, with significant backlogs, wait times for interviews are lengthy for all but for immediate relatives. Here are the new updates for IR1 to IR5. Most cases being scheduled were documentarily complete at the NVC in March of 2022. This update is as of May 31 and this is the latest update. Let's move on to the B1-B2 or tourist visas. Here are the latest update. For B1-B2 renewals or tourist visa renewals, the interview waiver is still available until further notice. Expiration must be within 48 months as announced on December 2021. So you need to count back 48 months before expiration. The interview waiver program also include renewing for biometrics or fingerprints only, also for applicants ages below 14 and over 79, and also for FM and academic J visa applicants, and for seafarer or airline crew visa reissuance. For employment visas, here is the latest update. Most current employment-based cases being scheduled were documentarily complete in March of 2022. For family preference visas, these are visas with visa cap each year. Most are approved expedite cases that were documentarily complete in January of 2021. So the individual case may vary depending on the type of visa, service center, visa cap, and priority date. Documentarily complete means that all documents and fees have been submitted at the National Visa Center. For first-time tourist visa applicants, the slots available are in 2023. Also, if you are not aware, LBC is the new courier for visa applications so make sure if you have any renewals or submission you need to drop off your documents at the nearest lbc branch if you have any other questions or comments please post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can thank you guys for supporting my channel i hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day